We're talking today about the DJI Pocket 3. I've had this camera since it initially came out. I forgot when it came out, a couple months now, maybe like two months. And this has been the camera I've been using for all of the recent gym videos, uh, jujitsu videos, some of the vlogs that you've seen when I'm not in this little setting. And for me, this is one of the best cameras for the type of shooting that I do. And that's how I like to make uh, decisions when I'm getting new tech. It's really how can it make the job easier and can it make me more money, right? And then the third one is, okay, I just want it. <laughs> but there's three things that kind of stood out for me, which was really, really a big selling point, which I decided to go ahead and invest in it. Well, like I said, for the type of shooting that I do. And that's going to really be your deciding factor. If you've been looking at it, uh, maybe you've been wanting to get it. You have the pocket too. Should you upgrade? It's how can you infuse it? How can you put it into your workflow? The number one, the first one is the, the active tracking. So if you ever use one of the one of their drones, it's called active track to where you can put like a little box around the subject. And then when you get the drone going, it will follow the subject until you cancel it out. So they adopted that same uh, software, put it into this camera. And you know this camera has a gimbal on top, right? So it's using basically like the same gimbal that you would see on uh, on the Mavic or the DJI Air. Now, the DJI Air is probably like a better comparison. So it's taking that and taking the same active track software. So now whatever subject that you have or the subject might be you, it will track it through your whole scene. So a lot of videos that you've seen, you see the camera following me when I'm in the gym as it would look like someone's holding it. Just give, it's really just the camera just following me. So it's just giving the shot more life instead of having the usual, okay, tripod is here, static shot. Okay, I'll move the, I'll move the tripod over on this side, static shot. And yes, you could adjust it in post and create the illusion, you know, adding shakes and things like that. But just to have it already in the footage changes it. Now, the low light, I'm shooting on a Sony a7S III, so you know you can pretty much shoot in the dark with it. I like shooting low light. I like having that type of moody look. And most of the time, if I'm shooting at the gym, it's poor lighting or they're using a lot of natural lighting. And if you try to use an iPhone or like a GoPro or one of DJI, DJI's action cameras, you know the low light is horrible because the sensor is small. And if you have poor low light and then you're trying to stabilize it, it just completely ruins the footage because if it's not on a fixed gimbal, it's relying on software and all these ag algorithms in the background to try to stabilize your footage, adjusting shutter speeds and ISOs and exposure. So all those things are in the background. So now you're not able to have your custom dedicated camera settings if you're trying to keep the same uh, flow with all of your shots, the same look with all your shots. With this one, it has a bigger sensor. It has a one inch sensor, one inch sensor which is huge. You know, it is really good, which really makes the footage, I mean, it looked pretty, pretty good. And then third is the stabilization. You're getting a gimbal on top of a smaller size. I mean, look how small this is. It's a, it's a tiny little camera. You do have a gimbal on a smaller form camera. Now you can have custom profiles. You can now have your shutter speed adjusted to 148, 1 over 48 if you are shooting uh, 24p. I've been shooting at 48 frames. So now the benefit really, I mean, the benefits are endless because now you can always have smooth footage no matter the setting, where you are, indoors, outdoors. You're not worrying solely on software to do the work, which is pretty, pretty good. So, and there's a ton of other reasons why I got it, but those were the three selling points that stood out for me making how I shoot easier and how my workflow runs, it was really, it was pretty much a no brainer, right? And it's a three, it's a three axis gimbal, guys. It's a, it's a real, normally you would have to buy the gimbal separate. Let's say you're using, you want to just use your iPhone. You got to buy that separate gimbal, attach it to it. You got all this going on. Now it's in one camera. It can shoot 10 bit. They call it D-Log. So now you have way more data that you can work with this really is a good camera. I don't feel it's overhyped for 
what I'm trying to do. You know, yes, I get the price point can be a little high, but you have to look at everything that you're getting in this one package and then look at it if you had to buy it separately. So now, is there cons to it? Uh, absolutely, of course. One of the things is the battery. Because so much is going on in the background from the stabilization, you have a gimbal going, um, the battery does tend to drain a little bit quicker than I would like it. If you're shooting at a high frame rate, you have active track on and you're trying to stabilize footage, yes, the battery can the battery can go. They did an update for it, which definitely helped out a lot because it was starting to overheat pretty quickly. It definitely corrected that issue, which is awesome. But if I had to give a con, yes, the battery. Another con that I could give it, you do have a lot of exposed parts, right? So you do have a pretty much an exposed gimbal uh, sitting on top of a camera with a flip out screen. So you can't drop this thing. I would highly suggest don't drop it. <laughs> you cannot, you know, slam it into things as you would maybe with a regular action camera, right? It's not that bulletproof as, you know, the GoPros and other DJI cameras. So that's another one. So I'm babying this thing a little bit more than I would like because yes, <laughs> I don't want to break this thing. I don't want to drop it. And thankfully I have not. That's why I always keep this case with me, right? So, and there's other little things, but regardless, it completely, the pros still outweigh it. So that's what I got for you guys. So are you picking it up? Do you have it? What are your thoughts on it? Are you happy with the purchase? I am. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. So more videos on the way. Like I said, I will be doing more videos like this. Don't worry. We're still going to do the gym videos. We're still going to give you that motivation. I'm still going to give you that inspiration. But I also want to show you what else is going on that's fueling that motivation and fueling that inspiration as well. All right. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. More videos on the way. Let's go.